So what's going on everybody? Welcome back to Hidden Heights Farm Vlog. Uh, I got a little bit of an interesting story to share with you guys this morning. Uh, I got up a little bit early this morning to come out and I'm going to start working on this quail hutch. But uh, oh Mojo here. I start making my coffee when I get up and look out the window and somebody's out in the goat pen. Well, it's Mojo. He was just out there chilling with the goats. Right? That's what you're supposed to be doing. You're coming along, bud. So that's, that's wonderful news. Uh, we've had a busy weekend. Uh, yesterday we celebrated Caleb's uh, 10th birthday, took a couple of buddies, uh, Rachel and Kaya. We all went to town, went skating, watched a movie, went and ate. The eating part was kind of a bad experience. Buffalo Wild Wings, you need to step it up. You guys are falling. Uh, I'll save that for another story. But anyways, guys, uh, I'm going to try to enjoy this beautiful day here. I got to get this quail hutch done, but first I wanted to show you guys, look at all this behind me. So the main garden's pretty much done, but look at this here. This is one of the pumpkin plants, and this thing's probably 12, 15 foot long, and it goes all the way out here, and it just keeps growing towards the house, and it's got a bunch of little pumpkins on it. There, that one's probably not going to make it, it's got some bloom rod on it, but you guys can see, and it's really late in the year, so... I don't know if we're gonna get any good size. We got another one running over there to the strawberry bed. It's already going up in the strawberry bed, but these blooms are just beautiful. Big old pumpkin blooms. Usually the bees are out here this morning. I don't know where they are, but I know you guys get bored talking about the garden, so I'm not gonna bore you guys too bad with that. But like I said, uh, I'm gonna get out here and try to get this quail hutch done. I don't know if I'll get it done today or not. I got a few hours where I can work on it, so I'm going to try to knock it out. My eyes are a little puffy, if you guys don't can notice. Uh, the gum allergies are starting to try to kick my butt, so I got to fight them off, of course. I need to start eating more of our honey. I'm bad. I love eating honey. I'm just bad. I forget about it, and I I need to start eating some every day so I can help fight these allergies off. But yeah, uh, hopefully I can get this quail hutch done. These little quail. Are gonna be a week old and then here in just another week they're gonna be ready to get out of that brooder and into the hutch because if I don't they're just gonna start flying out and if you guys watched some of my last videos uh, we left them in there about two weeks a little over two weeks the last time we raised a little batch of quail and Rachel had to film me uh, chasing a few of these quail around my shop because they were flying out of that brooder so anyways guys I'm gonna get busy on this um, I'm kind of just building this as I go, so I don't really have a big plan for it, but I think I'm going to make it a double hutch. Like I said, it's 70 inches wide, so that'll leave probably pl plenty of room. That way I can have two different sizes of quail on each side. And I'll put two different doors on here as well. So anyways, I'm going to get busy. I'm going to check these little quail real quick. Oh yeah, they need some water and food, so... I'm going to get that done, get started on this, and I'll come back and show you guys a little update. Alright, so it's been a few hours uh, since I came out here. I've been busy on this quail hutch, and I'm almost done. Uh, all I got left, really, is to put the roof on, which I'm just going to use some sheet metal for that. I got some scrap over in the field over there. I'm fixing to go get a piece and measure and make sure I got a uh, piece that I can uh, make work with this I don't know about the color I don't know if I have the color it's gonna match uh, Rachel might not like that but I don't really care about that um, but it's coming along pretty good let me show you guys so there we go I know it's hard to see because of the Sun outside but I did the sides in cedar I didn't do the wire on the sides and then I got two different doors here they open up to the side come in here the back's all wire as well. So it's been coming along pretty good. I gotta put some latches on here to, lock, to be able to lock them. So, still gotta do that, but it's coming along pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. I think I can raise quite a bit of quail in there. I'm gonna put some little kickers on these legs just to make it a little more stable. But, there it is guys. And I did use treated down here on the bottom and these little cross supports are cedar as well. But it's coming along good. Um, I don't think these little guys will mind as long as they stay dry. Got them some food and water this morning. They've been going to town. 
they, they sure make messes in their water pretty fast but so these here are just two days old and those there are like five days old you can see the difference just man these things grow so fast really really fast and the brooder is still working out excellent for them they're staying plenty warm with that little thing and it's not costing us very much electric so I'm really really happy with that All right, guys, I'm going to go get a, try to find a piece of metal where I can put a little roof on this little quail hutch. And uh, I'll come back and try to get that done, and I'll give you guys another update. All right, guys, so I'm like 98% done with this quail hutch. And I'm melting. Oh, man, it's hot in Oklahoma today. But anyways, guys, I've been sweeping up the uh, shop floor, putting all the tools up. I got the hutch moved outside by myself. Let's go take a look at it. The only thing I have left to do is put on the little latches that lock the doors. And I know in some of my uh, last videos of my other quail hutch, I've had a lot of subscribers comment on an uh, easy way to make some myself. I need to go back and look at that and figure out if there's a way to do it without buying those little latches in. Where I have it standing right now, it's not really on level ground. And this is not where it's going to be. I don't know where we're going to put it yet. We might put it over by our other quail hutch. Or we might put it over here on this lean-to next to our shop. But anyways, here it is, guys. Like I said, I'm almost done. And I have never claimed to be a carpenter. Um, I can get by just enough. I'm not very good with carpentry work. But I, I try as hard as I can. I just, I'm not real good at it. But anyways, here we go. <clears throat> and the way it's set in the doors are, uh, they're a little, they look like they're hanging. They're super, they're, they're not heavy at all. And uh, I think it'll be all right. I might hang the uh, quail feeders like I have on my other quail hutch on these doors. And I built them to where this top cross member is uh, pretty much holding all the weight. And it's got three screws in it on this hinge. And it's the same as the bottom. So any weight I put on it, I mean, like, I can push on this thing. And it don't hardly budge at all. So I think it's going to work out great. And this metal has got a little bit of staining on it. If you guys notice that like I said this was laying out in our field and it's kind of old it's just some of the bottom pieces I think that came with some of the metal when we built our shop but that don't bother me too much and then of course I put these on here and these are just like little kicker boards to kind of stabilize the legs and plus they double as a uh, carry handle so now me and Rachel or me and Caleb hopefully he's strong enough by now he just turned 10 maybe he can help me move this thing around if we want to but Got the green roof on there and then I went ahead and put this extra piece of cedar on the back uh, just in case we leave it outside kind of like where it is now. Uh, for some reason if there's a draft or there's a wind and they're cold or whatever you know and this is facing the wrong direction or whatever they can get up against this board maybe and uh, maybe stay out of the wind and plus this I didn't put a lot of uh, uh, hangover on this so if it's real windy uh, say the wind's out of blowing towards this thing this is the back of it so as the rain's dripping down uh, the wind could blow this in there so I might I'm just gonna watch and see how that goes but right now I think it's gonna be under a cover anyway so it's not probably a big deal and I got my other cedar side done as you can see so yeah pretty much all I got to do is make some feeders and uh, get my door latches put on for the locks and we'll be done we can put those uh, quail in here I just got to figure out where we're going to put this hutch. So a lot of you guys have been with us for a while and you remember when we first got the quail, uh, keeping it Dutch, sent us home with some eggs. We traded him a turkey for these quail eggs, Coternix quail eggs. And we hatched out a bunch of eggs and a uh, black snake come into the other rabbit hutch and ate four or five, I don't remember, I have to go back and watch, but ate four or five of our adult uh, quail. They were just at six, seven, eight weeks old, just starting laying eggs and that stinking black snake come in and ate them but since then we've uh it's been a while back we've been able to raise our own eggs hatch our own eggs and now we got more adults laying eggs from our hatching eggs so it's awesome uh guys anybody can raise these quail um i had recently had a subscriber reach out to me wanting to buy some quail eggs and she's been with us a long time so i'm gonna do a good deed and i'm just going to ship her some quail eggs she's got she lives in an apartment i'm not gonna say her name because i don't know if she wants everyone to know but anyways you know who you are I'm going to try to get some fresh quail eggs sometime this week and mail them out to her. She's going to try to raise these things in her apartment. And guys, if you if you know keeping it Dutch, I'm, he sent like 
percent of our subscribers to us so of course you know him um you know he he raised these quail over winter in his garage hatched them out raised them up they started laying eggs he, he's hatched more out from those adults you guys you can do this on very very minimal uh pieces of property or you're in your apartment whatever you know um you can do it so don't be discouraged uh Anybody can do it. These things are super, super easy. They might even be easier than chickens. I always thought chickens were the easiest uh, livestock or animals to raise, but quail, man, from being hatched to six weeks old, they're laying eggs, they're ready to butcher. Guys, give it a try. Don't be uh, discouraged by it at all. Uh, it's something super easy. I think anybody can do it. But anyways, um, that's that. So, all right, guys, I'm gonna go get me a drink of water and it's like lunchtime now, so. It's too hot to be working outside now in Oklahoma. It's a weekend, so I need to take it easy. Gotta go back to work tomorrow. But uh, guys, thanks so much for watching. Uh, I'm gonna have a lot more quail videos coming up here soon. And uh, if you guys are not subscribed, I ask you guys to please subscribe to the channel, smash that like button, and we'll see you on the next video.